Hey, what's up guys? Drew here over at Rough Micro Outdoors. I've got a video for you today um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about flashlights. Um, everyone who is doing something outdoors has some sort of a flashlight, whether it's a headlamp or uh, whether it's your, even if it's just your EDC light that you keep in your pocket uh, or a lot of people need them for work. Uh, I know I have a friend who's a police officer. He's got uh, his issue light and then he also carries a backup light and and you hear a lot of terms getting bounced around with flashlights and most of them revolve around lumens. And while lumens are kind of important, um, they're not the be all end all. I've had people that say, well, I've got a light that has less lumens, but it looks brighter than this one. And so I wanted to talk to you guys uh, about when you're trying to purchase a light about what to look for. And obviously the first thing you need to determine is what you really want it to do. Uh, do you want a narrow, focused beam that's going to reach out a really long way or do you want something that's closer to like the style of a floodlight with just a a, a very uniform light instead of a focused beam with a light halo do you want just like a, a large almost floodlight not super flood but uh, anyway i've got these two new lights from olight and they were kind enough to send me send me these over and and i'm still in the process of testing them so i don't have enough information to really do reviews on them but i will be doing them in the future and uh, i've got the olight s30r um it's rechargeable and then i've also got the uh s2 baton and uh, they both run on 18650s and i'm not going to go into all that stuff right now um, but what i will tell you is that they have very different light styles and um, so I'm going to use these to illustrate my point. So I'm going to start out with um, the S2 baton, which is what I've been carrying for a couple days now. Um, really, really like this. And when you turn it on, it has just a nice full beam. Um, it's not super focused. It's not super intense. And that's where the ratings come in. So this is 950 lumens on turbo. This one... Uh, is 900 lumens on turbo, but it looks brighter when you shine them both up on the ceiling. Why is that? Well, this one is somewhere around like 17,000 candela, and this one's only like uh, 5,000 candela. And you're like, what's the difference? Here's the thing. Lumens are your total light output. It's how much total light the thing throws out. Uh, a lot of your light bulbs that, you know, just your maybe like a 100 watt light bulb that you're going to screw in is going to have like 11, 12, sometimes 1400 lumens. And you're like, but that's not as bright as my flashlight. Well, no, it's not focused, but the total light output is greater. Candela kind of um, measures how focused it is, uh, how intense, it's more like an intensity rating. So I've got a little 180 lumen um, stream light that is very focused in the center and it looks brighter than lights that are have a lot higher lumen rating um, so that's going to be the difference this thing has more lumens but it looks dimmer than this because this has way higher candela it's much more focused now what i'm going to do is shut off the lights and i'm going to point the camera up to the ceiling and try to illustrate to you guys exactly what it is uh, that i mean so stick around Okay guys, so now I'm going to try to explain to you, uh, I'm going to show you what I tried to explain to you. Now this is the S2 baton. You can see it's got a nice wide kind of uniform beam here. And then this is the S30R. Now they're uh, on about the same lumens, but you can see that this one here, the nice tight one, when you put it to the center you can still see it. At least I can, I'm not exactly sure how the video is going to pick it up. But I guess what I'm trying to illustrate is that um, you have two very different beams here. They have similar uh, lumen outputs right now. Uh, actually, why don't I just crank this up to max so you guys can see. So here's turbo mode. This is 950 lumens. And now this is turbo mode, which is 900 lumens. Now you can see how much more intense this beam is. It's much more focused, much more intense. It's less lumens, less lumens, less total light output, but it is more than three times the candela rating, or candela, candela, I don't care how you say it. But I hope you guys can see my point. 
One is incredibly focused and reaches out longer, but is, is much narrower. This one throws more of a flood, but it has more total light. This is going to light up a forest better. This is going to pick something out better. Uh, so when you guys are looking at lumens, also look at the intensity or, or the uh, candela rating, de depending on what you want to do with it. If you just want to light something up and throw a big floodlight out there, um, this is really good. Uh, something with high lumens and a low candela is going to give you usually, generally speaking, a better battery life. Something with higher candela and, and lower lumens might eat your battery more. And that actually holds true for these two lights. Um, the Baton, the S2, has significant battery life over this, even though it has more lumens. So lumens don't necessarily mean that it chews through battery. It's the intensity um, that is going to eat up your battery, the more focused and intense it is. And they generally have different types of LED bulbs, and that's the reason. Uh, but anyway, I hope this helped you guys. Next time you're, you're checking out a light, uh, you know, look for both the lumens and the candelas. Now, what I'm going to do is grab a third light, which is my little 180 lumen uh, stream light, and show you guys uh, how it has much less lumens, but it's still intense. So here's the Streamlight Protac 1L, and this is supposedly 180 lumens, but it's an old battery, so it's probably a little less. But you can see this is 180, but look, it almost appears brighter than the 900 because it's intense. Now, obviously, this one is it's brighter than that, but you can see how this still shows up uh, even though it's, you know, just a fraction of the lumens, but it's a very intense light. So anyway, guys, I hope this illustrates some of the differences for you. Hope maybe you learned a little something here. And uh, keep your eyes peeled on the channel. I am going to have a review on the S2 and the S30R, and so far I'm, I'm quite impressed with both of these lights. Uh, and I'm going to compare them to my uh, stream light here that I've been, uh, you know, every day carrying for quite some time. And uh, if you guys check me out on Instagram, you'll be able to see more pics and uh, kind of examples of, of all my, uh, my carry gear. And uh, you can just search Rev Hiker. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Or I guess it would be the other way for you. Yeah, thumbs up and subscribe. God bless you guys. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. And I'll get to you later.